and welcome here again to Daddy Dark Conversations. It's Will and my dad. Dad and today we're wearing matching shirts. Yeah, we're in uh, we are tweening. Yes. And uh, this is of course uh, Summer Olympics. Yeah, it's uh, in support of the Olympics 2020. Mm-hmm. The Kenyan. 2021. Mm-hmm. No, it's 2020 maybe because it was supposed to be last year, uh, but because of COVID, it didn't take place. So COVID made it uh, impossible for it to happen. The Kenyan team is there, very well represented. So today we are here to honor them. To also tell you that uh, we are in support of the Kenyan team. Go, 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 take gold, 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 gold. Go, go, go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So today. We're gonna today before we start this show. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, 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 and hit that notification bell so you don't get to miss any of our videos once you drop them, them out. Thank you so much for supporting us. You're on our way to 1000, and also kindly view the video, mm-hmm. view the videos because the views are very important. View to the end. Yeah, because as you keep viewing, as you keep subscribing, and as you keep sharing, you are supporting us. Thank you so much for working with us, the journey. Mm-hmm. So, today we're going to be talking about spending time with people. Yeah, spending time with the people who are very close to you. I mean, if you are, if you, are, if you value people, the people that you value or the people that you spend time with, you show that you value them. Mm-hmm. So uh, if uh, it's a friend, it's a relative, is uh, um, a son, a child, a parent, sister, sister, brother, the people that you spend time with, it shows how much value you attach to them. Mm-hmm. And uh, it is important for, for everyone you know, you are, you are parents with the children, children with their parents. If you have a friend, you want to value them by giving them your time. Mm-hmm. And in spending time, there's uh, several things that you can do together. So maybe as you spend time with your parents or with your dad, what are some of the routine things that make you spend time with them? So, mm-hmm. we, we work out together, we walk together, and we also cook together. How does it feel when those moments that you're having uh, with your, with, uh, when you are working together, or maybe when you are working out together? I feel really happy when mm-hmm. we're together mm-hmm. because it's it's a lot more fun when you do it together than rather than I do it by myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How does it help in your relationship with your parents or with your friends? Mm-hmm. I get to know you more, and you get to know me more. And we also get to have fun together and have bonding moments and mm-hmm. memories together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bonding and memories. How does bonding help you as a person in developing your personality? Um, bonding, it helps me f- know, know a person better and like know you better. And also it helps me love you even more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And how does it help you? It helps me. Mm-hmm. Like I know somebody is supporting me. And I know that you really care for me because you're bonding with me too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And how does uh, does that affect you in the way you view the world and you view other people? I feel much more happier, mm-hmm. so I can go say hi to I can go say hi to people, and you also teach me a bunch of things when we're bonding too. So even if I know I you do, there's some there's something I don't understand when we're doing something together. I just ask you and you help me out and you always give me good advice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, other than just uh, maybe walking, uh, swimming, because uh, some, some of those things, uh, how do you, how, what should you tell young people or someone who is watching, who is uh, probably having a child your age or with someone who is watching and uh, they're probably your age. Uh, what is the value of spending time with uh, either your parents or your guardian mm-hmm. uh, in view of talking to them? Okay, if you want to build your relationship or continue building your relationship with people that you care about, bonding is something that you need to do. 
I can find the activity that I can do all together, like the way we do, walking, swimming, and workout. And if you don't like that, you can also go to libraries. You can take a car ride together, like going to the car wash every day. Or you can just sit together and just talk. Just talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can also go to Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how does open communication affect you know, the relationship of parent and the child? Um, open communication means no misunderstandings, first of all. Mm. So, no misunderstandings, then get to know what other people, what the other person is thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, does it mean that uh, anyone is perfect? No, nobody is mm. perfect. Mm -hmm. Only God is perfect. Okay, so what does open communication do when you guys are able to talk? The differences? The things is that the difference is that it might put out some things that you guys do not agree on, but it can also put some things that you guys do agree on. Mm -hmm. So even though somebody else might like doing sports together, the other person might not. Mm -hmm. But if you both like eating together, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for you in your communication with your parents, how does it help you to talk to your parents? Because there are things that you could be having in you that you do want to let your parents know. Mm -hmm. How does that bonding open up that communication? It helps me know because I can. It helps me know that I can trust you, and I can able. I can be able to talk to you even if I, even if I talk to you about the little things, and then you're able to give me good advice and accept me. I can talk to you about the big things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically, what you're saying is that. Uh, the value of a relationship, the value that people place in a relationship will be determined by the time they spend together. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are there some teenagers who don't really look forward to spending time with their parents? I think so, sometimes. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the reasons that would make them not want to spend that time with their parents? Mostly is sometimes they think that all oh, their parents are embarrassing them for example, or maybe, maybe they're doing something that they don't want to do, or their parents just had to put it out there without talking to them first. Without talking to them first. Mm -hmm. You'd want them first of all, they would want to be talked to before yeah. anything so, comes up. Yeah, so, the, so if you want me to come to the gym with you like the way you used to do with me, you say, hey Lulu, do you want to go to the gym together on Tuesday slash Wednesday slash Friday? And I say, okay. And if I say, um, I'm busy on Tuesday, but I can go with you on, t on Thursday and on Wednesday. And then you mm. say, okay. Oh, so it's about respect for someone's, uh, you know, a view of a certain things, even when they want to spend time mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. Wow, that, that, that's very insightful, baby. Mm -hmm. So it is important for any time that you, you value a relationship, you, you spend time with each other, but also you respect Mm -hmm. the other person's view and even as much as possible even a, a daddy daughter relationship or a child parent relationship or there even ought to be friends relationship. even friends relationship there ought to be that kind of respect mm -hmm. or a way of feeling that your needs have been uh, considered in spending time with each other mm -hmm. and then of course you grow you learn as friends you learn as parents and child you have a bond you have a relationship that will help you navigate some of the life issues that may mm -hmm. come in, the differences and the conflicts, even when a parent has to put in some rules and guidelines, they are guided by respect and uh, a relationship and open communication with the children. Oh. Having a good relationship requires three things. Mm -hmm. Number one, spending time together, Number two, respect for each other. Number two, and number three, trust. Now that's a way to close the show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you can close the show. And that is it for that Dami Dara Conversations. Conversations. And thank you so much for joining us in this show and the hope that you enjoyed the conversation. And the conversation continues. Mm -hmm. They say that the moment you stop talking, that's when you start fighting. Mm -hmm. We don't want to fight when I keep talking and we hope that you also are developing a relationship between a parent and a child, a daddy and a daughter, or a mommy and a son, or 
any relationship that mm -hmm. you are having and we hope you're getting inspiration from our show mm -hmm. this is the best study daughter show you'll find anywhere in the world mm -hmm. keep it locked we'll be here again next friday mm -hmm. baby you want to finish this show before we end this beautiful show well, i'm gonna give you guys two seconds to subscribe are you ready one, one two, two. Thank, thank you so, so much, much for, for subscribing, subscribing and see you in our next show Adios. Have a fantastic Friday. Fantastic Friday. We love you. Mwah. Mwah.